ladies and gentlemen, Dr. J. Greetings, I'm Dr. J. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you click like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you know each time I upload a new video. So today, change of scenery. It's 100 degrees and it is 8 o'clock in the morning. I am in the California Botanical Gardens. I'm doing a nature walk. I love to do that to clear my mind. It's so beautiful out here. This is one of the largest botanical gardens uh, in California. And I'm out here because, and it bugs, <laughs> I'm out here because I want to talk about stress again. I see so many people are stressed, a lot of people are drinking, a lot of people, your memory's gone, you know, you're just not in tune with yourself. So one of the things you can do, there are lots of herbs here that I can uh, walk around and tell you about. There's a lot of lavender and sage, blue vervain, verbena, these are all natural herbs. And there's a thing that I do sometimes, it's called foraging. And I can't do that here because it's not allowed because of the native plants. But if you live in the mountains or you live in you know, a rural area, uh, you have access to different herbs and you don't even know it. And it's called wild crafting. They're growing naturally. Even if you're in uh, your backyard, you'd be surprised of how much medicine is in your backyard. My backyard is full of common mallow, and I didn't know what that stuff was. Dandelions, that's in everyone's grass. So you have natural herbs. The problem is you should not be using Roundup or any of those chemicals uh, with your plants. Your best bet is to do composting. That means when you finish eating all those leftovers except for the meat, all those leftover vegetables and fruits and, and banana peels, compost them, turn them, turn them, turn them, let them charm till they break down, and then put them back in the earth. This is how you keep things growing. This is how you start organic gardening. So sometimes when you can, go to the park, take a walk, enjoy what's around you. It's good for your mental health. This is a wonderful place to just sit and meditate. Uh, this is my new meditation spot. When I'm in LA, I go to Kenneton Park. I hike up past the waterfall all the way up to the top, as high as I can get to the most high, and I meditate and I pray. So this is you know, some of the things that you can do to help your mental health. It also brings down uh, your blood pressure and just breathing the air away from cars and people in trouble is good for your mental health. Your mental health runs with physical health. Let me know what you think in the comments. I know you have some. And what do you want me to talk about? Let me hear from you. May the Most High bless you and keep you. Shalom.